Well hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home and today I want to share with you some of my favorite podcasts. I'm going to share with you some of my favorites and then I'm also going to list out a few that I am subscribed to that maybe are kind of new to me that might interest you. Um, they may not be a favorite of mine but we've all got different tastes so I'll tell you about those as well. It's a long list. I'll list them all down in the description box down below. You can find them all on iTunes and let's get going. Okay so the very first podcast that I ever listened to and pretty much the only one that kind of kept me company those first few years of marriage was called Homemakers by Choice. It's now rebranded and called Modern Homemakers. Uh, and the founder of the podcast, her name is Donna Otto. She's in her 70s and she has two grandkids. Um, and she is a no nonsense, tell it like it is, Christian, strong woman leader. And she wrote a few books, and one of them was called um, Secrets to Getting More Done in Less Time. And she's all about organizing and time management and cleaning and um, biblical womanhood and motherhood and marriage and all kinds of stuff. She has an extensive podcast archive. Um, they've been podcasting now for 12 years and I've been listening between 9 and 10 years. Um, and so they just did the rebrand like um, earlier this like last 2016 um, and they just updated their website it's modernhomemakers.com I believe and um, there's lots of resources there if you are in Scottsdale Arizona they are located in Scottsdale Arizona and they do a lot of um, things at their church like they have um, classes and and different things like meetings and stuff like that organizational seminars they just did one about um, how to bake a pie and so you got to bring all the supplies and make a pie to take home so um, it has been one of those podcasts that has really shaped um, shaped my role as a woman as a mother as a wife and um, I would encourage you to listen to it Donna is I said a no nonsense kind of woman and she's like your grandmother telling you this is the way it needs to be done and um, a really good mentor to young women so again that is called modern homemakers so speaking of homemaking the next podcast they want to tell you about is um, the homemaking foundations podcast and this is done by Jamie Balmay from young life's guide and Jamie has an entire ministry dedicated to homemaking and her resources are incredible she's very well researched and her podcasts are filled with a lot of depth there is so much that she puts into them and they're very very inspiring she's um, a young woman she was married at 19 she has five kids and two of those she has two sets of twin boys um, and at the beginning when she first started her podcast um, her sons were all under three. All four of her sons were under three. Um, and th so that was a couple years ago. She just had another baby, a little baby girl named Magnolia Rose within like the past week or two. The baby, she's really, really young. Um, and Jamie's um, information is just really in depth and really great. She's got a blog, she's got a course, she's got a few courses and a whole, um, one that's free if you sign up for her email updates. Um, I believe it's about creating um, a joyful home. Um, just tons of great information. The one thing I will say about her podcast is the first 10 minutes or so are usually her sharing life updates as well as um, coupon codes or an offer that she has going on because um, she's got like a store with um, courses and PDFs and all kinds of really useful wonderful tools but I find when I go back and listen to the archives a lot of that stuff no longer applies especially if I'm listening to it a few years later so just know that you may just want to skip through the first 10 minutes or so of her chatting and get to the meat of the podcast if time is of essence to you. So another really wonderful one that I love that is so packed with incredible interviews and just some amazing and awesome information is the Inspired to Action podcast with Cat Lee. 
Um, Kat has a blog and I found her years ago, like back before I was ever a mom and I was a stay at home wife. Um, and she just had all this really great stuff on her blog. And then I discovered that she had a podcast and she just has a beautiful way of speaking and she speaks straight to your heart as a mother. Um, even the opening and the closing of her podcast are so ministering to me. And I think that, I think you'll just love her and you will be equipped with some really good information. Kat does a lot of interviews with um, women who like have written a book or like have come out with a new book um, or are doing something that's really relevant to where kind of we are all at, where some of the Christian culture is at, and some of the things that are happening there. Um, she is just, she's amazing, and I really, really recommend her podcast. So you'll find a lot of the theme with a lot of the podcasts that I listen to. They're very Christian and faith-based. There's a couple that I'm going to share with you that just have nothing to do with faith, um, but a lot of them are. So if that's not your thing, there's going to be some things in here that you may still enjoy. So the next podcast is the God-Centered Mom Podcast. And again, this is another really great podcast about... Um, just focusing your heart as as a mom, like centered on God. Um, she does a lot of interviews, again, just like Kat, with um, authors and people coming out like with new books and new courses and um, just all kinds of stuff. And she just touches on the heart of women and especially moms. Um, really, really recommend her as well. <laughs> So this next podcast is called The Thrifty Little Mom Podcast, and I discovered this podcast over Christmas because I was searching for Christmas-themed podcasts, and this podcast came up with several different Christmas-themed episodes, and they were so rich in information that, man, I listened to a few of them over and over and over again. And then it seemed like the podcast sort of took a break, and I think it did. Um, I believe one of the women who does the podcast had twins, so she took a little bit of a break. She has a blog called The Thrifty Little Mom. I think it's the thriftylittlemom.com, um, but it's a blog, and her blog is really amazing. I'd recommend that. Um, but again, just chock full of really great resources. This is not a faith-based podcast um, that I have heard anyways, um, but it's really full of practical and good information, and it's all centered around doing things kind of on a budget. Really recommend this one too. Of course, I'm going to recommend all of these. <laughs> this is why I'm telling you about them, but I recommend it. Okay, so this next one is sort of new to me. I've been listening for a couple months now, but I was more familiar with this ministry from um, Right Now Media. So it's kind of like a Christian Netflix that your church can subscribe to, and it's a free offering to, um, you know, to their congregations. But it's chock full of resources of like um, authors and book studies and all video content. It's just incredible. And there's a section on there for moms, and there was a woman named Karen Stubbs, and she has a ministry called Birds on a Wire. And she talks um, all about stuff that moms are dealing with, and that's her ministry. It's a ministry to moms, and so she has a podcast. Her podcast is fairly new. I think it's about maybe a year old, a little bit older than that. Um, and it's called Wire Talk, and again, it's really great. She has a co-host. Um, and you are able to write in questions and the co-host sort of asks Karen the questions and sometimes they'll have like a guest on with them depending on the day's topic and all three of them will talk about whatever it is that the viewer has asked and I find that a lot of her podcasts are very poignant especially where I'm at as a mom. Karen's children are all grown. Um, a couple of them I believe are still in college. One has um, is married and has two little ones so that's kind of the age range um, but Karen's whole ministry is to moms and um, so wire birds on a wire if you want to look that up she's got a whole bunch of stuff that you can look into further but the podcast is really great okay so I mentioned this one before um, if you watch the videos that I do for the life-giving home book I mentioned in the last video set that Sally Clarkson does a podcast and it's wonderful. 
wonderful. I often listen while I'm getting ready in the morning because I can't get YouTube to work in certain spots in my house because really bad internet. Um, and so I, that's when I listen to a lot of podcasts is when I'm getting ready and things of that nature. And I like to listen to, um, sorry, I'm just getting a text. <laughs> um, I like to listen to Sally when I'm getting ready because her tone just sets the the tone for my day. Her tone sets the tone for my day. Um, she does it with a gal named Kristen Kill. Now Sally has, all of her children have grown. Um, they're out of the nest, um, but Kristen's kids are younger and still at home. Like Kristen has a baby that's just a couple months old and I think she has four or five kids and I think the oldest is like nine or ten and she's a homeschooling mom. Sally was also a homeschooling mom. Sally has a whole ministry to moms um, and she just speaks in such a godly, biblical, centered way. She has a way of making you feel comforted when you didn't know you were needing to be comforted. She has a way of equipping you um, and making you feel strong and giving you a different perspective on the mess that mothers sometimes go through. Um, and I cannot recommend this podcast enough. This is probably one of my very favorite podcasts. And I think every episode you will leave encouraged, equipped, and inspired. And I can't recommend it enough. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about a couple other homemaking sort of podcasts. These are kind of new to me, and um, I don't know how active some of these podcasts still are. However, you can find all of their archives on iTunes. So some of them are uh, Domestic CEO's Quick and Dirty Tips to Managing Your Home. And then the next is A Happy Home Podcast, uh, Christian Homemaking and then it cuts off, but it's a happy, um, happy home podcast. And again, I'll have all these linked down below. The next is making our home a haven. And then next is a virtuous woman and it's the Proverbs 31 women. And this is an organizing one. It's called the organized 365 project and it's all about organizing. Okay, so that's kind of the homemaking motherhood sort of podcast realm. And I'm going to share with you some other ones. So the first one I want to share with you is The Happy Hour with Jamie Ivey. This is like grab your girlfriends and grab something good to drink and sit down with Jamie as she talks to some really inspiring women. Um, she asks them really interesting questions, but she also gives them a chance to talk all about um their platform or their ministry and but in that Jamie asks them personal questions about them um, and so one of the questions that she always asks people is um, like what are you kind of um, obsessed with right now like what do you what do you, what can't you get enough watching or reading or something like that and so I hear a lot about like really good books and shows and different things um, like that to watch from you know other people um, and yeah, Jamie is, she's awesome. She's got the gift of talk. Um, some people are really good at writing. Jamie is good at talking and bringing out the best in people. And her interviewing is wonderful. So her episodes are an hour long. And then every Friday she does the happy half hour where she brings a previous guest back and they do a half hour show. And Jamie um, asks them a bunch of questions and um, sort of follows up where they're at. But she has a whole different set of questions that she asks the people. So um, a lot of her questions are the same. So it's really neat to kind of just hear these different answers for the same sort of questions and I think you'll really really love this podcast it's intelligent it's good it's like really good conversation and it's like you're talking with a girlfriend so next is mud stories with Jackie Watkins if you have ever watched through something difficult Jackie calls this the mud of life um, and if so if you've ever watched through something really difficult or you know someone who is Listening to Jackie and the people that she brings on her podcast really are just sort of equipping for the mess that you're going through. Um, and it's, Jackie always, whatever is said in the podcast is always brought back in a really good way. And you see how people go through the mud of life and then how God brings it all around and brings 
restoration and healing and it's deep and it's really really good so that's mud stories with jackie watkins and sort of on that same vein is feathers faith in flight and it's kind of again um really heart gripping sort of podcast of kind of going through the mess of life so this podcast is sort of new to me i've been listening to it for a couple months now and again it's just one of those ones that's really great conversation and really strong interviews and really deep conversation and good stuff and it's called the open door sisterhood po podcast and it is with um i believe one of the author um the podcasters is alexandra Kirk kirkendall kikendall i'm not sure how to say her name but um she wrote a book they're both amazing women that do this podcast and again very inspiring very deep very honest good talks on um, these podcasts and same for the glorious in the mundane podcast with christy knuckles you might recognize that name um, she was a christian worship leader um, and her podcast is very deep and it's it's quite good so i'm going to tell you quickly about a couple um, business related podcasts i really enjoy um, so there is the Creative Empire podcast, the Gold Digger podcast, and I'm new to this one, um, but I'm really enjoying that one. Uh, the Communicator Academy, so if you're a blogger or you're a speaker, this is filled with like lots of really practical tips on being a communicator. Uh, the Productive Woman, and it's all about productivity and time management. And then this one is new to me as well. I don't, I don't know if I've listened to this one, but I'll just, I'll tell you what it is. It's called Simple Life Together. I'm not even sure. Like, I don't have any updated episodes, so I'm going to go listen to that one. But I'll tell you about it in case maybe you want to look and you might like that one. Um, Your Life Rocks, Helping Working Christian Moms. And again, lots of really great information inside of this podcast. And then there is... Um, Uncomplicate Your Business with Rachel Cook. And I went through one of Rachel Cook's free courses and it's incredible. Um, she is a great businesswoman. So if you are doing, if you have your own business or you're looking to start your own business, Rachel has some incredible information for you. And that goes along with the Boss Mom podcast. So again, if you're a boss mom, if you work outside or inside your home, um, and you're a mom, this is the podcast for you. Dana Malstaff is just amazing. She brings on a guest every week and they have a really great conversation and um, just incredible information. And lastly is Hope Writers. So I love Hope Writers. It is all about um, writing and being authentic in your writing and writing hope to others and it's with emily smith from chatting at the sky blog um formerly chatting at the sky blog and the nester i've been reading the nester blog the nesting place blog since she started i was there when she was writing uh, on her toaster strudels with the icing and that was part of a blog post um really incredible information in the hope writers podcast and i can't recommend it enough so i'll leave a few more down below in the description box my timer is running out and i need to get going so i will leave a couple more down below and i'll kind of leave them so you can tell that i didn't mention them yet and i hope you guys enjoyed this podcast let me i hope you guys enjoyed this video let I don't know if actually some of them are still active anymore. However, you can find them on YouTube. YouTube. You can find them on... However, you can find...